As soon as I saw this new transfer from Iron Orchid Designs, I knew that I wanted to combine it with Jamie Ray's new decoupage paper. I believe I'm a man with a heart that's a little offbeat. Jamie Ray's decoupage paper. It's got a lady on it and a castle. This is what's left of the transfer that I just used from IOD. It's a brand new transfer. It isn't even out yet. It's it's a surprise. First I decoupage the lady onto here. She has the transfer all up in her hair. And then all the scraps and all the pieces, there were two pages that were left over. I packed them up and I sent them to Zeb and Jamie. And they're gonna make a video. And then they're gonna take their transfer scraps and they're gonna send them to Ellen J. Goods. And so you need to watch all three videos to see what happens with the traveling transfer show. Be sure to click the link below to watch the other two videos in this playlist from Jamie Ray Vintage and Ellen J. Goods. First thing that you need to do is you need to get a canvas. You need to paint on it, you need to blend, you need to create the background situation. I believe every day I'm a burden and I gotta behave. I found this large canvas at Michael's. With my 40% off coupon in a pack of three, it made this canvas about $3. I started blending colors. I started at the bottom and I blended the darkest color going up to the lightest color and then I had a background. You need to let that paint dry overnight or the transfer will not stick to it. I'm using Bohemian Blue, Mermaid Tail, and Old 57. DIY paint is so easy to blend with because it can be reactivated with water and diluted 10 to 1 because of its super heavy pigmentation. I like to pull the paint down into the other colors by going the opposite direction with my brush. Then I smooth out the brush strokes to create a seamless color gradient. This is the decoupage paper. We sell it on our website, and I just cut out around the lady. We have all kinds of beautiful sheets of this amazing decoupage paper. It's good enough for furniture because it's big, or you can use it to create art for your walls. Letting you know you, you're not alone. Jamie Ray's paper is light and made Letting for decoupage. You, know you can cut it out, blend it with paint, and apply with your favorite decoupage medium. I'm using a piece of chalk to outline where I want my decoupage paper to go so I can apply big top or liquid patina directly to my canvas. I have been asked if big top can be used like liquid patina as a decoupage medium. You definitely can, you just need to keep in mind that it dries really fast. But if it doesn't feel It was a very hot day when I was making this project. So the big top dried faster than I had hoped. I ended up peeling it off and going back over it with liquid patina. One of my retailers asked me to try decoupaging with Big Top to see if it would work. So I tried it and it does work, but it dried really fast. So I ended up going back to using liquid patina. Liquid patina is an excellent decoupage medium. You can also use this. Just keep in mind that it dries much faster. It doesn't have the same viscosity, but both can be used for decoupage. I went back out to the shop, grabbed some liquid patina, and went right over the same area with my brush. Liquid patina is really thick, and I only needed to use about half this amount. If you use too much liquid patina, you will tend to get more wrinkling. My project did end up with a few minor wrinkles. They did dry out as the paper dried. I'm telling myself that that is part of the vintage look and I like it, and I sort of do, but I know that I need to be more patient when it comes to decoupage. I'm sure if I would have used less product, it would have had a little bit of a better result. After you decoupage the lady onto your canvas, then you want to start applying the transfer. This transfer comes in four sheets and you have to kind of puzzle piece it together. And all I knew was that I wanted her carrying the flowers. I just kind of laid it out before I stuck it down. You can lay it gently and it won't stick. I started with June and I created this. I wanted to create a piece of art to celebrate our new floral mural done by Wins Art. You can find him on Instagram. I will put the link below. Okay. 
IOD transfers are so fun and easy to use. They come in four sheets with grid lines so you can line them up perfectly. I took the first sheet and positioned it exactly where I wanted it. You can easily lift it up and set it back down again as long as you don't press too hard. Then you take your applicator stick and start rubbing it on. The grid lines make it easy to line up the second piece, which is what I'm doing here, making sure everything is nice and straight, and then I repeat the process. decoupage paper and some of it's transfer but because there's already flowers in the decoupage paper it just kind of blended together really easily. This was the fun part. Okay. I blended more flowers down at the bottom of the canvas. I love the blend of black and white flowers with the burst of the colorful flowers of the transfer. She has flowers down here because Jamie told me she had to add flowers in this area, otherwise it would not have been family friendly. This transfer has this vase right here, see? And there's little cherubs. They need to be covered up because Jamie pointed it out to me that they're exposed. She, she told me, don't send me that part of the transfer. I won't use it. I'm gonna take this section right here of Jamie's paper and I'm just gonna make it kind of blend in here with the cherubs so that they're frolicking in the flowers. Okay, I'm half joking about the cherubs and I'm just giving Jamie a hard time. I very much realize that this is art and that there's nothing wrong with the cherubs. So please do not come for me in the comments. This is just meant to be funny. Last thing I did was add white wax to this project. I love white wax and the way that it creates texture and shading and adds to all the beautiful Nicotine. colors of DIY paint. Need the fee. Don't ignore it. And Levi is always sticking his nose into whatever I'm doing. This picture is so cute, I had to leave it in. You're adoring. Places to go. I got angles to show. So let me know in the comments how you create inexpensive art for your walls. I want to do a whole video on how to create art for your walls from the thrift store, from the dollar store. I have all kinds of ideas. You will be able to get this new transfer on our website soon. All the decoupage paper is there. And yeah, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Money like I just got paid. To find the products used in this video, to find DIY paint near you, or to sell DIY paint in your store, or to see the videos by Zev and Jamie Ray and Ellen J Goods, click the links below. Thanks for watching. And if you're wondering why I move the way I do, I just feel so good. good.